there have been a lot of questionable myths in 2022. And today, I'm going to bust the top myths of the entire year. Warning, there's going to be a lot. So, I found a few TikToks here, where if you throw tires at the bottom of a sign, it flies away. And then if you throw it at it again, while standing on it, you literally get launched. So now we're gonna try it and see if it's patched. I've got a gas station sign here, so I'm gonna launch some tires at it. Nice! This might be insane. So now I'm gonna throw it at the bottom. Oh, it actually works! What is happening? Do I take damage? Yeah, I take a lot of damage. Now we're going to test if a Klombo can break through an armored wall. Wait! The Klombo just destroys it instantly! Let's try one more time. Wow! Okay. So yeah, armored walls do not work against the Klombo. It's now time for the ultimate duel. What happens when two players use the Kamehameha at the exact same time? It's Goku versus Vegeta. Who will win? We both have 100 health. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. This is gonna be close. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> they cancel each other out? That is insane. Um, okay. That is super cool. The beam just lands in the other beam and nothing happens. Crazy. No damage. Myth busted, I guess. Or confirmed, I don't even know. A tank versus a shark. So thanks to this YouTuber who did this, but let's see how it goes. A tank versus a shark. And the tank actually does 70 damage to the shark. And, uh, um, okay. What is it? What? That is insane. Hold on, let's watch this again. So the shark comes to attack, lands on the tank, and then makes it fly across the world. And then the shark falls off and the tank starts flipping and then the player dies. That is actually insane. I guess we'll say, uh, myth confirmed, I guess. If you fall into a dumpster, will it stop your fall damage? This one's gonna be scary, but basically I'm just gonna fly straight up with my jetpack and see what happens. Here we go. I'm just gonna go as high as I can before the jetpack breaks. I'm very scared. Ah! <gasps> it works! I honestly did not expect that. I thought I was going to take damage. Or I thought the dumpster would break. But yeah, that myth is confirmed. But there's a part two. What if two people fall in at the same time? Will both survive? Will one die? Let's find out. This is gonna be super scary. We have to both try to light up with a dumpster. Something tells me we might need this med kit in a second. I'm very scared, but it looks like we're right over the dumpster. And now I'm going to edit this. Three, two, one. Ah! No way! It works! You can get two people in a dumpster at the same time. Is that even possible? And neither of us took fall damage. That is sick. I wish we had more people to test it, but it doesn't matter. It's probably max two people. But either way, that myth is confirmed. It's time for the ultimate myth. When I thought of this myth, I was super excited to try it out. It's actually really, really good. So let me tell you the basics. If you goo yourself, you throw goo gun on yourself and walk into the final enemy and you both die at the same time, who gets the win? It's kind of a crazy question, right? Now we have the exact same health. This is going to be perfect. All right. Whew, I'm nervous. Three, two, one. I win! No way! So even though I was right next to the explosion, it counted that Vader died first. That's insane! I just survived the entire Goo Gun explosion. I took zero damage. What? That's so weird. The game must make you like invincible right when you get the win or something. I don't know. Cause technically we both should have taken the same amount of damage. Myth confirmed or busted. It's confirmed for me and busted for Vader. Sorry, Vader. Now we're going to test if a pizza stops your fall damage. This is uh, very high up. All right, so I'm gonna place a build and then we're going to put the pizza in the corner of the build like this. Now I'm going to stand on top of the pizza. I'm kind of nervous. And we're gonna edit it out and see if the pizza saves my fall damage. Here we go. Oh, it does. 
No way. The pizza in this game is like the greatest item ever. It makes you invincible. I can't believe it worked. Myth confirmed. I've been waiting for this moment for a while. A tornado. What happens if you use the mythic Kamehameha in a tornado? I can't see. I can't do that now. Here we go. Goodbye, tornado. Literally nothing happens. Myth busted. That's sad. So today you're going to find out what happens if you're standing on a Klombo and it gets struck by lightning. So here I am, standing on a Klombo, and the lightning does nothing. But it sets the ground on fire, and that makes the Klombo angry. And I got launched off. So even though the Klombo is immune to lightning, he's not immune to fire, which I thought was super fun. Myth busted. So yeah, don't get struck by lightning when you're on a Klombo. The tank versus the battle bus. Here we go. Ah! Oh! Wait, I took zero damage. <laughs> For a second, I thought the bus was gonna win because I actually flipped over. But the battle bus has 971 health and I have 2,500. So I didn't take any damage at all. Wow, the resistance really needs to make some better vehicles. Cause this tank is overpowered. Apparently, if you throw a shield keg on top of a shield bubble, it's way bigger. If it works. But we're also gonna test if it heals faster and if it works as a shield for you. So if we throw the shield bubble down here and if we throw the shield keg right on top of the bubble. Wait! <laughs> That's huge! That is way bigger than the normal shield keg. Can you shoot through it? I don't think so. So I think it actually protects you. I, I can't tell if it heals you any faster. I think it does. And I think it's lasting a little bit longer than usual. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely sure that you cannot shoot through it, and that it's definitely way bigger than the average shield keg, which makes it like an extra shield. Myth confirmed. Will Klombos get angry if you ride a shark into him? We're about to find out. Hello, Klombos. I have a shark gift. Dude, what if the Klombos eats the shark? Let's find out. Oh, the shark actually attacks the Klombos. No way! And now he's flying! What just ha- I'm stuck! I glitched out! That was insane! The shark got launched above the Klombos, and now he's just chilling in the grass. I am back again with a shark! Let's try to boost off of his tail. No! Oh! He got angry! The myth is not busted! The myth is true! I'm stuck again! For a while, he didn't get angry, but now he does. Ah, where's the shark? Dude, the shark is on top of him. And now the shark is trying to attack the Klombos. This is so crazy. Hello. Whoa, he killed the shark and he's still mad. No, nope. it's okay. Calm down. Now he's not attacking anyone. Never mind. he's definitely attacking me. Okay. Everything's okay. The moment of truth. Will the boulder break through an armored wall? Let's find out. Ooh, it doesn't. It stops it in its tracks completely. That's actually kind of crazy. So it does 165 damage, but it can't stop an armored wall. Myth busted. If you shoot a rocket in a slipstream, does it fly in it? How far does it go before it explodes? Let's find out. Oh, it actually does go through it. I did not expect that at all. Let's see if we can try to follow it all the way around. I wonder how long it lasts. Oh, it's still going. I see it all the way over there. That's insane. All right, let's try to follow one. I did not expect this to actually work. It would be crazy if it goes all the way around. Dude, that lasts an insane amount of time. That's kind of crazy. Will a Klombo get angry if you knock a tree on him. It worked, kind of, and it did one damage. I think it definitely landed on him and it actually landed on him like twice and did one damage each time. Let's try one more time. One damage, two damage, and then it rolls directly off of him. Can he eat a tree? 
Well, he's like clip. <gasps> he just destroyed it instantly. You are so strong. Clombos are insane. They can handle a tree falling on him, and then they just turn it into dust. Myth confirmed. Can a Kamehameha break through a shield bubble? Let's find out. It's time. Goodbye, Vader. Oh. That was instant. It went right through the shield bubble. I didn't even see damage. It was just an insta-kill. Dude, the Kamehameha is still so good. Myth confirmed. So here's an insane glitch that I found. And I don't know if it's true, we're gonna try it out after, but watch this. So the glitch basically makes somebody dance the entire game, which is stupidly overpowered. So here's what we have to do. Get in. Don't worry, it's going to be fun. We boogie bomb the dumpster. And then we break it. Huh? It didn't work. Have I been lied to? All right, let's try it one more time. There's another dumpster right here. This time, I'll get inside. Here we go. Oh, dude, Vader, are you serious? Okay, we found another boogie bomb. So let's try it one more time. Okay, quick, break me. Oh, it works. Wait, am I gonna dance the whole time? Oh, it actually works. Oh, I was so ready to say that this was busted. Wait, this is actually bad. How am I supposed to do the other myths? Let's see if I can switch weapons. I can, but it doesn't actually work. Dude, I'm still dancing, even after I walk. Dude, what do I do? Can I throw an impulse grenade? No, I can't use my weapons. This is so broken. Help, maybe I can emote? Wait, oh, an emote broke it. Out of all the things to break it, all I needed to do was emote. Okay, that's actually an insane glitch. Myth confirmed. Wait, I have a bonus myth. What if you throw a shield keg on a spider web? Whoa, it's stuck. Look at that. I made the shield keg bounce. Is this supposed to happen? We found the fastest car we could find and I have a web shooter and now we're going to race. All right, here we go. Wait, where are we racing to? Three, two, one, go! All right, I'm really hoping that I'm faster because I want the spider web to be, uh, to be faster. I can't really focus on talking right now. This is actually going really well. No! I almost won! I actually think the spider web would have won if I didn't fall. And the car needed to use its boost to even catch up. So to all the people that thought the car was faster, you're wrong. And now we're going to test if the floating launch pad trick has been patched. And also we're gonna try it with a porta bunker. So if you don't know what that glitch is, you throw a shield bubble down in the sky, and then you can actually place a launch pad in the air, floating. And even when the shield bubble is gone, the launch pad stays there. It's so insane. So I could just chill here for the entire match. So that has not been patched yet. But now let's see if you could do it with a porta bunker, which would be even better than the launch pad. So same thing, shield bubble down, porta bunker, and... <laughs> oh. What? Fader, it didn't work. You lied to me. I will never forgive you. I thought that the porta bunker was supposed to work, but I guess it got patched. Every time I've done it, it's broke, unless I'm doing something wrong. But I think Epic has patched it. But myth confirmed and busted at the same time. Hello, Cannon. Today we're going to do a horrible, horrible test. And apparently, I'm about to get glitched. I'm gonna chrome splash myself, enter the cannon. Wait, no, not like that. I'm gonna shoot myself out, and while I'm flying, I'm going to hit shift and turn into a blob. And now, nothing happens. Oh, I'm stuck in the ground. This is overpowered. What? I'm glitched into the ground. That is so overpowered. Myth confirmed. For a second, I thought that wasn't gonna work, but it does. Here we go. Can we web swing on a rocket? Oh, you can. No way. This is insane. It's so glitchy. 
My web is still on it, but I'm on the ground. That was insane. Hold on, let's try this. Ah! Oh, never mind. It works. Myth not busted. Myth confirmed. Wee! Look at it. The web is like falling behind the rocket. Okay, this is actually sick. This is the easiest way of transportation. That was so insane. The next myth has to do with our good friend, the shark. Can you make a shark launch pad? I know, pretty funny. Hopefully it's actually true because I really want to see a shark fly. All right, the launch pad is down. Now I have to somehow get the shark on the launch pad. Okay, here we go. This is not going to be easy, but I think I can do it. Here we go. Well, that's sad. I landed right on the launch pad <laughs> and it broke. Myth busted. A shark cannot jump on a launch pad. Never mind. A shark can't jump on a launch pad. Myth unbusted? I don't know. I don't know what just happened, but I placed a launch pad underneath it and it just launched. Here we go again. And now it's destroyed. So here's a weird glitch that has to do with the truck. So this player drives a truck into a build and then throws a pizza on it. What is happening? Oh, and the pizza gets stuck on the truck. What? How does this even happen? Um, okay. So this player builds something like this and then edits it. And since I'm the best editor ever, I don't even know how to do that. I did it. Okay, so then the player drives in. What? Okay. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I think I got it. So now I get out and throw a pizza on top. This is the weirdest glitch ever. How do people even find this? All right, the pizza's on the roof. And now I edit this. Okay. And then something's happened. What do I do? And my truck is stuck in the ground. How do I make it fly? I think I have to break the pizza first, but I think this is gonna work. How do I break the pizza? I can't break the pizza, it's stuck. Ah! I've broke Fortnite. Okay, well, I can't get the truck to fly, but I definitely got it to glitch, so it definitely works. The myth is for sure confirmed. Oh! I got it! I made it work! Myth confirmed! I don't know what happened, but I made the truck fly. Today, we're going to test if a shield keg works while you're in a tornado. All right, here we go. Wait, I can't throw it. No, let me out. I'm gonna throw it into the tornado. And let's see. Okay, it's still down. I think. Where is it? Hello, Mr. Shield Keg? Where is it? I think it got completely eaten by the tornado. Like, actually, I don't see it at all. I don't see it in the tornado. Let's try to get inside. Anyone see a shield keg? This is crazy. Yeah, so it seems like shield kegs do not work in tornadoes. That myth has been busted. So here's a crazy myth with a baller. If a player uses a Nimbus cloud while I'm stuck to them like this, what happens? Do we go flying with them? Do we get thrown away? Let's find out. <laughs> we do go flying with them, but only a little bit. <laughs> we kind of get thrown away. That's super fun. Myth confirmed. So let's try that one more time. First, I'm going to attach to Vader, and this time I'm gonna try boosting. Whoa! Oh, that didn't work. Wait, what happened to me? Hold up. Um, something tells me I'm not supposed to look like this. Iron Man, are you okay? This is hilarious. This is actually the most insane glitch I've ever seen. I'm upside down. Okay, this is great. Myth confirmed for sure. Guys, I'm feeling dizzy. Fortnite has added the most overpowered plant. This. This plant is so good, it's invincible. Not really. But, it's broken. If I do something like shockwave grenade myself while standing on this plant, doesn't work. The plant said no. 
If I shoot a rocket at myself, zero damage. It's like the ultimate protector. And we're gonna try one more thing. We're gonna see if you can take fall damage. There it is. The most overpowered plant. Let's see if it saves us from fall damage. Ah! Everybody's favorite boss is Darth Vader. But can the Kamehameha destroy Vader in one shot? That's the myth we'll be testing today. This is going to be awesome, so stay tuned. If only I could ever find a mythic Kamehameha. I've been floating forever. Your time is up, Vader. Here we go. He doesn't even know what's about to happen. Okay. That was insane. Okay, so it didn't kill him in one hit. But it did an insane amount of damage. I'm gonna pickaxe Vader. Ha! So sadly, myth busted. But it still did an insane amount of damage. So now I'm going to stand on the Klombo. And we're going to try something crazy. If I'm standing on a Klombo and somebody else makes him angry, what happens? Will I fall off or will I stay on? Okay, well, I definitely fall off. And now he's angry at me. No, I didn't do anything. Ah! Ow. Let's try to get on him while he's angry. He immediately makes you get off. Why are you angry at me? Midas is the one that shot you. Stop. No, it's okay. All right. Woo! So that myth is busted. All right. If this works, it's insane. Let me show you guys something crazy. First, you need a balloon. One of these guys. Then you need a portable... No, oh, oh. It's gonna fall off. Wait, Vader. I need a shield bubble. Where'd you go? Well, apparently Vader doesn't have a shield bubble. <clears throat> so, that's awkward. So, I'm back like three hours later, and we're gonna try this balloon thing again. If you throw a shield bubble down like this, and then you throw a porta bunker inside, you might have to try it a few different angles. Perfect. Then, if you throw a launch pad underneath... Uh, whoa! Where'd my launch pad go? Okay, we're good. Now, this balloon... will eliminate anybody that goes into it. So, Vader, uh, wanna try something for me? Here we go. Ha! Lol! Take that, it works. So this is a fantastic way to troll people. Anybody who uses this balloon will just die of fall damage. I don't know why it works, but it does. Myth confirmed. Now it's time to try something crazy. Can you rocket ride with an anvil launcher? I'm kinda nervous, but I'm also excited. You missed. You missed again. Dude, you're so bad at this. <laughs> Are you serious? That is not what's supposed to happen. That sounds like a myth busted to me, but let's try one more time. All right, here we go. Why are we so bad at this? So apparently it's actually possible to do there's a video of it, and these players were able to do it, but we can't because I guess we're bad. I don't know. This is a slipstream, and now normally when you fly through them, you can't shoot or do anything. But there's a new glitch with the Nimbus Cloud that actually allows you to shoot while in a slipstream. It's crazy. Just to show you guys, when you get into a slipstream... I fell. Uh-oh. Dude, I keep doing that. So as you ride into Slipstream, obviously you can't do anything. You can't shoot, you can't reload. It says that you cannot do that now. But if I switch to the Nimbus Cloud and try to use it, it says I can't do that now, but now I'm glitched. And now I can actually pull out weapons and use them while in the Slipstream. It's so overpowered, it's crazy. The only thing you can't do is aim down sights, but you can actually pull out weapons and shoot. It's crazy! If I was in a slipstream and somebody was shooting me, I would just uninstall. Myth confirmed. Also, it doesn't update your ammo, so it says I'm out of ammo, but I have eight bullets. So basically, the entirety of Fortnite is broken. Myth confirmed! Oh wait! Now my bullets are back! Um. I'm confused. Hold on, let me try something again. This is kind of an insane glitch, so I want to keep trying this. Okay, so I'm in the slipstream. Can't do anything, obviously. Switch to the Nimbus Cloud, try to use it, and now I'm glitched. Now I can shoot, but it doesn't actually use your ammo. Let's try to do damage. Like, can I shoot stuff? Or are these basically just ghost bullets? I don't think they do damage. So 
So now it says I'm out of ammo, but if I land and switch back to it, I have the ammo again. Okay, this is a crazy glitch. It completely breaks your guns, but it's super fun. I don't think they actually do damage because they basically don't even use the ammo. I don't know how to explain it. It's crazy. How far does the Kamehameha actually go? This is the ultimate test. I'm going to test it at different distances. This is about 100 meters away from that piece of wood. Let's see if it reaches it. It... Okay, it does. Let's go even further. Let's try 150 because this is actually really far away. This is like farther away than like a sniper rifle. Uh, Vader, you're definitely gonna want to move. This is about to get blue. Okay. That also killed it. All right. Well, my path is about to end. How far does this actually last? 235 meters. Let's go to 250. 250 meters is a lot of meters. It's like a good chunk of the Fortnite map. Let's see if it hits it. Probably not. We have found the answer. Well, kind of. It cannot do 250 meters. All right, 200 meters. Let's see. Nope. Vader said it was super close. So let's try like 195. Here we go. Yes, it broke it. So I think we found the ultimate distance. 195 meters, which is a lot. You can basically snipe somebody from here to here. It's crazy. Myth confirmed. And now we're going to find out, will a tank carry a shield keg on it? And will it heal you while you're in the tank? What? Why? It doesn't work. It throws it over here instead. Now the next question is, will it heal the tank? No, but it will heal you if you're inside. But sadly, you can't put it on the tank and drive with it. So that's like half confirmed, half busted. Myth, bust firmed. Can a Colombo eat a chest? Let's find out. Hey, look, there's a tasty chest right here. No, it seems like he does not want to eat the chest. First, the shark eats this house. Now the Colombo eats it. Oh wait, he's gonna eat a chest. And yep, he ate a chest. Looks like that myth is also unbusted. So everybody knows if you're right next to somebody when you rift, they also go with you. So what if you rift somebody while they use the mythic Kamehameha? Do they come with you? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh! They do come with you and it completely breaks it. So what happened to the Kamehameha? It used up his mythic, but it didn't actually shoot it. Hey. That's a way you can stop somebody from using a Kamehameha. That's kind of insane. Myth confirmed. People have been using the new vehicle mod as a shield. But will it stop a tank? Let's find out. So I'm going to drive my tank into my teammate and see if it works. No, it does not work. <laughs> it stopped the tank for a second, but then the tank was like, No, I'm going through this. One of the biggest mysteries in Fortnite right now is what's underneath this, the rock statue. This door has been here for a long time and it has never been opened. So we have no idea what sort of secrets are in here. I'm going to go into replay mode and glitch under the map to see if we can find any secrets underneath the statue. So here we are in replay mode. There's the door that we're trying to see if anything's inside. And if we go underneath, we can see, um, ooh. Nothing. So the door leads to this empty area with no floor and some weird grass. Okay, that is weird. That is not what I expected. I at least expected like a floor or something. I'm kind of surprised. So maybe this is meant for a different season? I'm not sure, but either way, there has to be something behind these doors. Can a goo gun go through a shield bubble? We all know that bullets can't go through shield bubbles, but goo is not bullets. Goo is everything. Goo is life. Here we go. Take that. Oh, it doesn't go through. I thought it would. Now I'm kind of sad. What about outside of it? Nope. 
Well, now I'm sad. But we have another test. Since we know it doesn't go through, we still want to test if it can do damage. So I'm going to stand right on the edge of the shield bubble. And Vader's going to shoot the goo gun. And since it's right next to me, it should do damage. It does. It does do damage. That's insane. So even though the shield bubble stops it from going through, it doesn't stop it from doing damage. That's so funny. Myth confirmed. And busted at the same time. But mostly confirmed. I'm here to get into the vault without a key. Because apparently there's a glitch where you can. And all you need is some chrome splash. So here it is. The vault. And normally you need two keys to open it. But what if I told you you could get in without a key? All you need to do is break the wood underneath and then turn into a blob. Wait, why am I not a blob? We're good. Now you go underneath and you can like click and you can see underneath. Oh, I threw blobs by accident. What? I just, what just happened? Um, I just glitched through the floor. I have no idea what happened, but let's try that again. And now I can see stuff and you can actually break the stuff with your pickaxe from underneath the vault. So all you have to do is sit here and click on the chests for six hours. And then if you de-blob, you can pick up the stuff. And would you look at that? A free legendary weapon without even going into the vault. Isn't that cool? Myth confirmed. For this myth, we're going to test if a boulder can take out a full shielded player. Here we go. I'm gonna break the boulder towards them. I'm kind of scared. I hope I don't miss. Here we go! Ooh, it does 165 damage. Wow! So it doesn't one-shot them, but it does a ton of damage. So, myth busted, even though that's kind of insane. So, all we have to do is fishing rod onto the shark. No, get back here! And then we jump? Oh! It actually worked! And now we get to play as a shark? Uh, this is actually kind of insane. Ow! So, I have no idea how to actually make this happen, but you kind of just jump, and it works. And then you just control the shark. I am a shark. Roar! And then he kind of just stands here. Kind of a crazy glitch. For this myth, we need an armored wall, and we need Vader's mythic. Oh! That's what he wanted to show me. Give me that. I want to try. You can, like, throw it. Wait, how do I throw it? You can throw it, and then... It comes through the armored wall. What? That's insane. I've never seen this before. If you throw it normally, it obviously bounces off the wall. But if you throw it from the side and then move in, it goes through the armored wall. Does it do damage to it? I think it does. What? What did I just hit? Vader? Sorry about that. But that was actually really cool. Myth confirmed, and I got a victory royale. Can you grapple onto a shield bubble? The ultimate test. Vader's gonna put a shield bubble in the air, and I'm gonna try to grapple to it from underneath. Here we go. Oh, you can. What? I did not expect that to work, honestly. So you could just find a floating shield bubble. And use it like Batman. Myth confirmed. I'm actually surprised about that one. Can you run over a cannon with a tank. So here we go. I've got a tank. I'm now going to run over this cannon and see if it works. Will the tank destroy it? No, that's actually kind of surprising. The tank destroys everything except this. Let me try to boost into it. Wow, I am surprised. It only has 400 health, but the tank doesn't destroy it at all. Myth busted. Let's see what happens if I shoot it. It gets destroyed instantly. So apparently there's a weird glitch. For whatever reason, shield kegs don't work if you're inside an RV. So if I go in here and throw it to... Huh? Where'd it go? Hello? Mr. Shield Keg? What? It's floating. And then it disappears. Um, okay. So yeah, I get no shield for that. Thank you, Fortnite. Myth confirmed, that's actually a super insane glitch. Now I'm sad. Have you ever wanted to break the collider and ruin Dr. Sloan's day? Well, now you can, with this insane glitch. So here's how the tower works normally. You walk up to it, 
and you start to fly, right? Not if you do this. So here's the video. If you grab a boat and shoot a missile right here, it for some reason will break the tower and you can just walk in. Like this is insane. I don't know how GKI found this, but props to him. Uh, now I'm stuck in the tower. This is insane. I am full of laser beams. This is so glitchy. I have officially broken Fortnite. Ah! I'm stuck. Uh-oh. I have 10 health. So yeah, uh, myth confirmed, glitch confirmed. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Can the Kamehameha break through all five? Whew. I'm nervous. Here we go. Hopefully it's a lot. One. That's it. <laughs> Only one. Well, myth confirmed, but sadly. Myth sadly confirmed. Let's try one more time. Oh wait, that one got two. Oh, because the first one was probably weaker. Okay, so we can do like one and a half armored walls. Not bad. Oh, perfect. A web swinger. Now I get to test if you can web swing into a tornado. Wait, you can. And you don't even have to grab onto an item. You can literally just web swing from the tornado. Wait, now I can. I think I just found a glitch. I can switch my weapons and my ammo comes out, but I can't actually use them. But you can actually web swing in a tornado. I'm sure you guys have heard about this already, but the two henchmen are back. And there's a glitch using a cow catcher to get inside their hidden wall. It might have been patched, but today we're going to try it for ourselves. It's time for the moment of truth. I really hope that it's still in the game. So, as you can see, you hit this and it does 50 damage every time. And it has like a trillion health. But you can break it with a cow catcher. Please work. Yes! It worked! I'm inside! I don't really know if I'm supposed to be in here, but there is chests. And then, of course, here they are. And now we're going to try the Goo Gun versus the Goo Gun, but on the same team. Let's see who wins. Three, two, one, go! I won first! My Goo Gun did more damage, but we both died because the Goo Gun is overpowered. No moment of truth. What happens when you drive directly in the middle of a tornado? Oh! Wait, no, 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 don't kick me out. Am I gonna die? No, we're fine. So even though the octane doesn't get affected by the tornado, it doesn't let you go in the middle. Let's try one more time. No, ah, I fell. Okay, whatever. The storm's coming in, so I can't check anymore. But sadly, the myth is busted. All right, next up, we're going to try something crazy. We have a shark, and we're going to test what happens when you drive a shark into a tornado. This might be crazy. What is happening? I'm, I'm stuck in a tree. The shark is flying, and I fell off the shark. And the shark is stuck in a tree. No way. Give me the shark back. He's stuck in a tornado. I need to save him. I don't think there's any way I could get this shark back. It seems like the shark is lost forever. Where did he go? Oh, he fell out. And now he's back in the river. Perfect. All right, let's try this again. Let's really try to get into the storm. No, dude, give me the shark. There we go. Ow. Let's boost and jump into the tornado. This is so weird. No, I jumped! And now the shark is stuck in the tornado. And he's glitching out. Look at him. This is so crazy. Hello, Mr. Shark. For the next myth, we're going to try to lift Klombos. We're going to use a harpoon gun to see if we can lift him from above. And we're also going to use grenades and a grenade launcher to see if we can make him fly. So the first thing we're going to try is a harpoon gun. First, I want to get above him, so I can do this. Let's see if it works. It doesn't work. And surprisingly, it does work. Let's try grenade launchers. Ah! Okay, it just made him angry. Let's see if grenades work. 
Nothing works. The Klombos is an immovable object. Yeah. The grenade launcher does nothing. Ow! Ow! So it looks like that myth has been busted. So there's a new glitch with campfires. Where you can make them last forever. Alright, so let's try it. We're gonna light it, and then we're gonna run away. And now let's see if it lasts forever. Hey, look out for the campfire! Okay. Alright, so I've been standing here for way longer than the campfire lasts. And it's still there. So it seems like this glitch is confirmed. And now if I go near it, in like 10 seconds, it's going to disappear. 8. 9. 10. Wait. Did we just find the infinite campfire? That lasts even for infinite heal? Okay, never mind. We have a new myth to test. And this one might be crazy. We're going to try to bring the foundation over to a Colombo and see what happens when they fight. This is taking so long. Yes! Finally! We got the Colombos to hit the foundation and he's just walking away. Are you serious? Okay, so he keeps getting hit. But instead of getting angry, he's just like, Huh? Colombo, save me! Even though you're also angry, I have 10 health. Where's the foundation? Are they fighting yet? Oh, they are fighting! Finally! Except the foundation is missing. Okay, he's gonna throw a boulder, and that also missed. There we go! This is the fight we wanted to have happen for like three hours! And now the Columbus is charging the foundation, and the foundation is trying to shoot it, but doing a pretty bad job. And the Columbus is just eating all the shots from the rock. The Columbus is also missing. This is an interesting fight. Whoa! Did the foundation really just run away? Wow! The rock could not handle it. He really just walked away. But the Columbus will not let that happen. Oh, just kidding. Glavos is still angry, but he's also walking away. And I think that the fight is over. But the rock is definitely scared of the Klombos. Myth confirmed. Today we're going to see if we can make fried chicken. I'm right underneath the storm, and now we're gonna wait for lightning. No! I want to be struck by lightning. Do it again! Give me lightning! Yes! Lightning time! All right, so it doesn't kill the chicken, but it does do damage to the chicken. So I bet if the chicken has low enough health, the lightning will kill it. Strike me! Ow! The chicken is losing health. Let's see how many lightning strikes it takes to kill the chicken. Or me. Here we go! Ow! No! The storm's gone! Apparently, if you launch yourself inside, you can glitch into the collider. Let's see if it's true. And... That didn't work. Let's try that again. So sadly, that glitch is busted. Oh, wait a second. Myth confirmed. Let's try that again. It worked! Myth confirmed! So here's a really weird glitch that I heard about. The myth is, if somebody box themselves in armored walls, if you use the cloud under them, apparently, you actually can get inside their box. Not sure if it works, but we built an armored wall box, and now, underneath it, I'm going to use the cloud and see if it works. <gasps> that didn't work at all. I've been lied to. Let's try one more time. This time, I'm boxed in in armored walls. Let's see if I can break through one. Here we go. Ah! Woo! Wait, did I just destroy the entire box? Um, so maybe this is more powerful than the Kamehameha. Maybe. That is kind of insane. Myth confirmed. But also busted. But also confirmed. Can you get a headshot with a goo gun? Luckily, Vader's here to try it out. Sorry, Vader. Now listen very closely for the headshot sound. No. <laughs> you definitely cannot get a headshot with a goo gun. Apparently, if you feed exotic weapons to a Klombo, they will give you a legendary gun. So let's see if this myth is true. Hopefully it is, because otherwise I just wasted 400 gold. I have a weapon for you, and it's very expensive, so I hope you enjoy it. There goes 400 gold. If it's not at least purple, I'm going to be very upset. Here we go! 
That is green! Miss! Busted! Now this thing can destroy everything. But can it destroy an armored wall? Wait, it can! Oh! Wait, what? According to the video, it couldn't! I'm so confused. Well, that myth is confirmed. Tanks can go through armored walls. That's insane. I was lied to. So this glitch is crazy. Apparently, you can make a car fly with a shark. <laughs> it's actually crazy. All right, here we go. Wait, 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 not yet. Hey, shark. Hey, Mr. Shark. Get over here. No, stop running away. Dude, attack me. There we go. Here we go. Yes, it worked. Okay, this is the most insane glitch I've ever seen. What do I even do? I'm going 189 miles per hour. I'm not even steering or using my keyboard and I'm just flying super far away. Okay, I'm starting to land. Where am I? I'm alive. What? Is this supposed to happen? I'm driving in the first person. Um, is this even possible in Fortnite? Okay, this might be the craziest glitch I've ever seen. Hey, it fixed. And now I'm in the water. And I'm finally out. I think. And I'm dying. Exploding tomato was eliminated by water. 